after we have created a virtual form in virtual form designer let's use it from within microsoft excel let's go into the vba editor where we first need to add reference to the virtual form control in the reference list find the entry virtual form 2.0 and tick the checkbox to include it in your workbook now we can use the virtual form control in our excel workbook now let's insert a user form right mouse click on the user form and select view code at the top we need to declare the virtual form control as public so that we can use it from any part of our workbook don't worry i will give you the workbook with the code in it because we also want to use and consume the events that the virtual form control is firing we need to insert with events into the declaration of our virtual form let's delete these events for now go to user form initialization event and put these code lines into it Insert code to create a new instance of the virtual form control object. We need to tell the virtual form control which virtual form definition file it is going to use. The easiest way is to copy paste it from virtual form designer. We also need to set the connection string so that our virtual form control knows where the database is. We can also copy paste this from the designer. In the user form terminate event, add the code that will execute when the user form will be terminated to close all open virtual forms to disconnect the database and to destroy the virtual form control object switch back to the object view let's insert a command button that we will use to open our virtual form that we have created in the designer in the command button click event insert the code that opens our virtual form each virtual form is having its own internal name it is generated at the moment when we created this virtual form in designer Save the changes and return to the workbook. Here we will insert uh, one command button that will open our user form. Go to Insert ActiveX Controls Command Button. Double click the command button to go into the click event code. Insert the code that will open the user form. Save it and let's test it. Switch the design mode off and click the button that will open our user form. Click the button to open the virtual form. Here we have our virtual form that is connected to this workbook and uses data from the categories sheet. Now we can test it by changing some data. Let's change the category name and see if it will also change in our sheet. Finally, our virtual forms are working.